I'm Jared Balfour for 5thGenRams.com and today we're going to add some lockable storage to our 2016 Ram 1500 that's a long-term test truck for Mopar Insiders and our 2019 Ram 1500 which is a long-term test truck for 5th Gen Rams. Now I know what you guys are thinking, what's a 2016 Ram 1500 doing on a 5th Gen channel? Well as the 2019 Ram Heavy Duties carry the same cab, some of the products carry over such as these ram bin lids that we're going to be switching out. So on my left is the factory plastic non-lockable ram bin lid and on the right is a nice steel powder coated lockable ram bin lid from our friends at Tuffy Products. So a few weeks ago our friends at Tuffy contacted us and asked if we would be willing to do a pro fair product review in return for them sending some products out for us and of course we obliged. So we want to give Tuffy a big thanks for sending these products out, especially since both myself and co-editor Robert Miller have had our trucks broken into within the last six months. So without any further ado, let's get started on the ram bin lids and I'll show you just how easy they are to install. Okay, so installation is super easy. The first thing you're going to do is just pull out the removable bin and then you're going to take out these four Torx screws. And just like that, the factory lid is off. So now what you're going to do, put the factory screws aside. And you're going to take the new Tuffy lid. And first, install the bin. And then you're going to line the Tuffy lid up with the four holes in the floor. And try to keep an even gap around the bin get these started and these are new uh, hex head screws supplied by Tuffy and then you're going to tighten them down the instructions say only five foot pounds so not a lot of pressure required on these And just like that, your new lockable ram bin lid. This is the key, open it up. Now the one thing that I did notice with these of course right away is that you can't pull the liner out and that of course is just due to the steel security to lock it up. So that's one thing you lose, but how often do you really pull the bins out? At least now you've got some lockable in floor storage in the back and it's a really high quality nice powder coated steel okay guys so the next thing we're going to install in our 2016 ram 1500 is this lockable console safe now this is also a nice high quality steel product lockable and it's going to fit right in the center console of a 2019 to 2018 ram 1500 2010 to 2018 ram heavy duty as well as the 2019 and 2020 Ram 1500 Classic. So to get started, we're going to unfold these legs and we're going to install these bottom braces with these four included Phillips screws. So after you've got the bottom brackets on, the next step is to take this Allen head bolt a nylock washer then you put a nylock washer on the other side of here of this bracket and there's an 11 mil bolt that bolts to the back and you just tighten that up enough so that you've got enough pressure on the lid that you can hold it at certain degrees so don't tighten it all the way and the next step is we're going to get this into the truck okay unfortunately my microphone came disconnected from my gopro for filming this segment here but it's super easy to install this console safe into the console. Basically, after you assemble the console safe outside the truck, as I showed you previously in the video, all you need to do is drop the safe into the center console 
Now you're going to see me marking the sides. There's holes with uh, self-tapping Phillips head screws that screw into the plastic. So what you're going to do is mark the holes in the sides, pull the center console back out, start the self-tappers just to kind of effectively drill holes in the side of the console, and then you're going to drop the center console safe back in and screw the holes through the bottom. Now Tuffy also does provide a couple extra screws where you can screw the bottom brackets through into the actual floor of the cab as well to really secure the console in there. I chose not to do it for this part of the video, but it was actually a very, very simple install. It's in there very solid with just the side screws. It fits excellently and I am very, very happy with the center console safe. It's been in my truck now for about a week since I installed it to when I'm editing this video. So it's definitely worthwhile checking out. And as I said, they make center console safes for the new body style Ram 1500 as well as the heavy duties. And of course they make them for other makes as well. So Ford, Chevrolet, and a bunch of other stuff like that. I'm actually going to include a link down below in the description where you can check out Tuffy's website and all of the really cool products that they do offer for various vehicles. So like Jared said in the beginning of the video, both him and I had stuff stolen out of our Rams this year. Uh, right after I bought my 2019 Ram 1500 for the website, um, I actually had some camera gear stolen out of it. I just happened to leave my truck unattended for a few minutes and it was gone. And um, so Tuffy actually sent us a under the seat rear lockable storage box that's heavy gauge steel and uh, it basically it's it's lockable on top but if somebody were to break in the truck they can't yank it out because we're actually going to bolt it underneath the rear seat so it's kind of a cool feature um, it, it's fairly simple to install and uh, I suggest having two people just because the box is 50 pounds and it's kind of awkward to put in the rear of the cab but I'm gonna do it by myself just to show that it can happen and it can be easily installed. But you only need three uh, parts or three accessories to actually install it. You need a flat bladed screwdriver, so preferably a one with a longer uh, handle on it. You also need a T20 Torx and you also need a uh, 10 millimeter socket. And I suggest getting it with a little ratchet. You don't need a big ratchet, just a little one because you're going to be fitting underneath the rear seat. Uh, with your hands and stuff and if you got big hands like me it's kind of hard to uh, to get your hands some good grip underneath the seats but let's take and pull our truck into the garage and actually uh, install this box so if you have the rear under the seat storage like we do in our Ram 1500 you're gonna have to remove it and the first step to do that is to take this handle here in the middle turn it and you're actually gonna push it down and then basically You'll have access over there to the three bolts that are in the back and we're going to take a little ratchet loosen those up and pull that out and the same with this side over here the thing is we're going to keep the bolts we're going to take and put the covers back on after so like i said we got a little ratchet here so we're just going to take and put them on these little socket bolts here and just loosen them up once they're loose once they're fairly loose they're you can twist them out by hand all right now that the bolts are out we're just going to take and push this out a little bit and you'll see that the cover comes out and bam it's out of there now we're going to need these covers so this is where your torx bolt will come in you need a t20 torx we're going to take and pull this off and then this piece will be separate so what we've done now is we've actually put the bolts back in Put the cover back in and you're going to notice it's not going to be kind of as flush and that's just because we're with that that uh, divider's not pushing this panel back in we do notice there's a little gap but it's not too bad it depends the piece is back in tight so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move over to the other side to do that and then we're going to go put uh bring the uh, parts for the box in the cab and actually uh see where the mounting points are for the brackets so let's go do the other side next, and then we'll move to moving the box in the cab. Okay, so this is a little issue. The instruction manual that they give you doesn't have any pictures, 
and it says to basically take the outer most forward bolts out with the 10 millimeter uh, socket. So there's that one, which is obviously isn't a 10 millimeter socket, but it's a bolt, so you think, okay, it could be easily placed. But this is like a security bolt. And I'll try and get some light in there because it's getting dark out, but that's a security bolt. Now, you can see I, I took it out already, and it took a lot of force to get that out. I mean, it is torqued heavily from the factory. Um, it took me about 25 minutes to loosen it up. I put it back in so you guys could kind of see. And, um, I mean, it is in there good because it's not supposed to be removed. But we're going to remove it. And then what we're going to do is, wait a second here, we have these brackets. This is what bolts, this is what bolts the box that on underneath the seats. So where that bolt that we're taking out is, it's going to fit right through there. And we're going to slide it between this part of the seat right here. So when we undo this, we're going to put the bracket in here and the bracket's going to stick out. Then we're going to take and loose, and we're not going to tighten it down just yet, but we're going to put the, the security bolt back on tighten it very loosely so that way we got some play in the box because once the box gets in here we're going to have to take and put wing nuts sorry wing nuts into this bracket and actually be able to adjust it because it's going to have to match line up with basically along the side the same uh, parts of the seat in the back so it's going to have to line with the seat pretty good so you're going to take and leave those kind of loose so we can have some play in them so let's take that bolt apart, let's put this bracket in, and uh, take and do the other side too. And then we'll get the box in here, and we'll put the wing nuts in these holes, and the box should be mounted. So let's do that. All right, so we got our box put in the truck. It wasn't that difficult, but uh, like I said, it helps with two people because you got to keep going back and forth between the cab. So basically, we got these brackets, and they're still kind of loose. But what we're going to do is there's wing nuts that actually come in the kit, which I loosened up here, and washers and some bolts. And we're just going to put them through the side and actually get them to line up with this and then just basically screw them in. And the box is pretty much done. Um, a couple things I want to show you real quick. If you're thinking about getting this box, like I said, we got the weather all weather mats. I had to take them out of the back because Originally, with them on, it actually lifted this up enough where it wasn't going to line up. So I actually installed this box, oh, about a week ago just to see how it would fit. And I ran into that problem. Another thing is, if you look, move the light here, they just give you enough room to get to your RAM bins. So even with the all-weather mats, guess what? It wouldn't give you enough room to lift them up to pull the doors open on them. So if you have the rear mats, you're going to have to, and you want the box, you're going to have to change it up a little bit, unfortunately. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about the design of this box. Other than that, I mean, it looks fine. Um, let me show you here. It's concealed underneath a seat, so really you can't really see it too much. So it doesn't look too bad. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, you're just going to lose the, the ability to have those nice Mopar mats that match the truck. So you can find, like, WeatherTech has some individual mats and stuff like that. So if you have to, you got options. But nonetheless, I carry enough camera equipment. Not a lot of people sit in the back of the truck, so it's nice to have the lockable storage. So let's get this lined up, and I'll kind of give you a tour of how it works and stuff after I get it uh, bolted in. Okay, now that we got the box installed, we have this lockable bin. Let me see if I can get a little bit better view of inside the box for you. So it goes all the way through, and Tuffy comes up, has a bunch of accessories for this box. Um, they have basically like a foam liner. So if you're carrying a gun, like a shotgun or anything, it will fit in there perfectly. Um, you can buy additional sets of keys. It comes with one set. So if you do lose your keys, there's serial numbers on all the locks and uh, you can easily contact them and they'll send them to you like over the night or whatever. 
but it does have a nice uh, storage uh, capacity in it. Now, what I'm going to do, because I carry camera gear, very expensive camera gear and tripods and stuff, is I'm actually going to get the foam liner from them. And uh, once I get that, it'll be a lot better to put stuff in without it moving around and that. But overall, it's real simple to install. Um, let me show you what it, like I said, give me a second here. I'm working in dark conditions because it's camera it makes it look like it's lighter outside but it's not it's dusk but again you don't really see it underneath the seat which is nice uh, it just gives you enough room for the ram bins to be opened so it's not that bad and as you know can notice with our RAM, we've had our seat lights underneath keep coming out. So that's going back to the dealer this week to fix that issue. Both of them in the back have popped out. But other than that, you don't lose any foot space. And like I said, it conceals it pretty nice. So, what do you think about the box? Take and leave your comments below.